Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome back to the creative side of Planet Nomads. I apologize for being away for so long. I uh, got abducted by aliens and they just returned me back. Uh, no, I had to take a bit of a break. Uh, things were just a little bit too much. I just need to unplug, I guess. I honestly haven't played any games in like two weeks now. So, anyways, uh, I got a bit of a thing I want to do today. And uh, yeah, so it's hard to believe it was raining. That thing actually is a nice little rain shield. I kind of like that, those lights, really, really nice. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, a couple of years ago it was uh, suggested that I try to do like a, sort of like an autonomous ball, so like a, a hamster ball that would go around on its own and traverse the landscape on its own accord. So this is something I wanted to do, but at the time, at, at the time, we didn't really have anything we could build with that would be light enough to get anything to really move. And I was trying to think of having something like, maybe like a hover pad attached with a rotor on the inside to get the turn but it wasn't going to be enough to really do anything because all we had was blocks blocks and batteries and uh, originally I tried to come up with this idea and as you can see, would have guessed this is it enough to actually move like one hover pad just isn't enough to really get it to do anything it's a little too heavy. I could have cut the batteries out, but for each hover pad, you need one and a half batteries. So if I got six hover pads here, I need nine batteries total, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, nine batteries at least. And then trying to arrange them and have the block weight and all that stuff. Yeah. Uh, at the same time, too, it's bigger than I wanted it to be. Sorry. Uh, it's, as you can tell, it's been a while since I've recorded. Uh, but originally, I had the hover pads on the batteries themselves. But as soon as I did that, I couldn't place any more on any of those four opposing sides because of that one block space they need. I, yes, I could use rotors to try to cheat the system, but that wasn't going to work. So I tried, tried to come up with another idea. And this actually is a very interesting idea in, in, on its own. Um, basically, what it's, as you can tell, you've got two hover pads. Or, Oh, that's the wrong button. Uh, two hover pads are set to always hover. Uh, the wheels are free. They're just rolling. The wheels aren't powered. They're just bearings, basically. So it does roll on its own. Uh, but I discovered something interesting. Now, uh, before I go into what I've discovered about this, um, the reason why I designed it like this is because I'm going to be building basically a ball out of glass. Just like I did with the dome up here. I'll go up here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to do it a little bit differently. Uh, instead of being square on the top, I'm going to actually try to have it sort of octagonal. So it gets a little more round surface. It's not going to be as big, of course, but it's basically going to be about probably five or seven blocks wide just because of the size of that. So the ball's not too big. At the same time, too, it's going to be fairly light because these things are, as you can see, only 10 weight. So that's not too bad. Uh, the hover pads should be able to push it. That's should uh, but that is my theory so basically what's going to happen is because they have i think they have a three block sort of area of effect so when you turn them on they push about three or four blocks i can't really remember but basically once this is inside the sphere we'll call it uh, it's actually going to one pad is going to be closer to one wall no matter what so it's going to push and it's going to roll and it's probably going to end up pushing this thing around now something else i discovered too let me just uh drop down here i've created a segue if i stand back here oh because right now it's perfectly balanced but if you put some weight on the back i was trying to get a platform on here but it moves on its own this might be interesting for different types of mechanics to come up with actually I'm getting the I getting the ideas already but we'll save those for later I've also got a few other nice fun projects I want to work on but then if I stand over here on this side and for some reason it goes this way and I think what's happening is sorry it's been a while since I've jetpacked especially trying to land on the edge of a hover pad. But basically what I'm doing is I'm pushing this hover pad down closer to the ground so it has more push than over here. Now I could offset it with some blocks. Uh, let's see what I have. Let's actually just grab something off of here. Uh, I do want to blueprint this too. I'm probably going to put it up in the workshop as a segue just because. Uh, I definitely have to work on this a little bit, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a block in here or not. 
just because I got that rotor there. I can put it here, and that'll create the weight a little more on this side, but it doesn't really do much because the hover pad's in the way. Oh, that's the wrong button. See, it's not quite enough, and I can't place anything on it just because of the hover pad. So that might be something I'll have to look into. I was trying to keep it small because I didn't want it being too heavy, and then that way I wouldn't be able to really do much. But that is that. Uh, so let us do ye old happy day. And oh, it actually took away the rain this time. Perfect. Now it's moving on its own because I have that little bit of extra weight there. Uh, I can't put anything else there, but I actually might be able to get these little wedges in here. Uh, probably this one. Let's see if we can get it in here. Uh, uh, stop. For, thank you. Put the brakes on. Come on. I'm going to have trouble because of the rotor. But this shouldn't actually be technically classified as a full block. Let's see if I can get in there. No, doesn't want to. No, it's just because it's already started rotating. That is fine. Anyway, uh, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. So now, let's, uh, let's blueprint it first. Let's take these off, because I don't want them really there. Uh, four batteries on there. There's actually one in there, so it's a little bit more power, but that's about it. Actually, could actually place a block down there, or what I've done is... Originally, I had two switchboards on there. I know I'm rambling, but you know, I'm tinkering. It's been a while. Okay, let's see here. Let's see if this will actually make any difference at all. Kind of does. All right, let's, let's get a block on there. Uh, would a battery be better? Uh, let's get a block on so we can place something on it if we need to. Place a block there. Okay, and then... Just get one more of these on here just because. See, it's sort of going. But now that's restricting that hover pad. If I place anything here, it's not going to actually do anything. But I can always do that. But then we have wheels. And no, we're not going to have the, the physics demon. Uh, the physics only show up when the, these wheels touch, like these arrows on the wheels touch up a block while it's powered they're not powered they're not on suspension nothing to worry about as long as i don't power them we'll be fine anyway uh yeah let me uh blueprint this and we'll start building the the dome okay i have blueprinted it i'll put it up in the workshop after i upload the video uh, same with the the ball and we'll do that uh, that don't worry about that nobody wants that anyway uh first of all i need a post uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Grab one of these. And I'm thinking about the colors on this. We'll probably go like a red, yellow, blue bush, try to make it look like a, a kid's ball. Uh, I will be able to have to try to build this a little off. I know I can actually build it just like this. I think there's like a. Nope. Uh, I don't know what the, the actual. I know there's supposed to be some sort of. Uh, modifier you hold to build in the air. Let me see if I can look that up. Okay, I rebound it to Z, so let's see if this actually works. Because I've never actually tried this before. And we'll just go with this. Hold Z. Oh, it does work. Fortune trying to build a ball off of that ain't going to work. So I'm going to have to build it up here. So, yeah. So now there are two sides to this. I want, uh, I want the right axis for one. Okay, uh, yeah, I want that in the lower half of the block. Because in that way, when I go and build up with the slopes, which are three, I think. Nope, nope, where are they, where are they? Six. Here, let me go to the other hot bar I got set up. That way it's closer. So in that way it connects like that, and I can go up and then... Uh, sort of like I did with that thing. So, yeah, we're not going to start with that one. Uh, this is really difficult because for some reason you only interact with the actual frame and not the glass itself. Uh, so, uh, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to be able to round this. So, let me get something set up and I'll bring you back.
Okay, so I had a bit of a snag. Uh, one, I was trying to get the, cor the corners on an angle, go octagonal. Uh, we don't have any blocks, so I'll do that. I forgot about that. We do on uh, the normal blocks. As you look at number nine there, that'll work, but uh, not for the glass. So I have to do it this way. And then I, from here, I can go up with the slopes and then start with the, the triangular sections. Uh, and then I've decided to only go four wide, even though the, the segue here is actually five blocks, the, the battery, the two rotors, and the two wheels. Uh, if I do it on a four, it'll give a little more randomness to it and let actually give it more reason to move if you catch my drift but from here then we just go like so uh, actually let's flip it around and we're gonna go like so it's gonna be should only be three three blocks high because it's actually because on an angle it's actually gonna be about four blocks long and I want to try to keep it uh, relatively the same size all round so this is going to be very painful to do so I'm going to get these sides up and I'll bring you back for when it's time to do the corners actually I just realized we have to do the corners now you can't actually stack these this way uh, they have to be touching a block on the top or bottom or the sides uh, but for some reason they won't connect if, it, if you go and connect them on the other side but you can do this which can come in handy in some cases, but trying to go on the other side, it's not going to work. So we actually have to go to the corner here. And we'll go on this side where we can actually, I don't know where we can probably see better, play on this side, I think so. So we'll get the one. And now the, this is where it gets a little confusing because you do have to be changing the block around quite a bit. So let's start by getting the point at the bottom. If I can. No, okay, there we go, and there we go. Now from here, now we have to actually flip it over. Now I think it's like one like that, and then you have to go like this to actually get a snap to there. Then you have to flip it around, and this does get a little tedious trying to do it this way, but it works. That one didn't. But let's see, there we go. And then flip it around. Don't think it really matters which axis you use as long as you're going the way you need to. And then flip it around again. Like so. And. Oh, come on. Come on. Get on there. Give me a break. I haven't built in a while. And like so. So now this. In theory. Well, this is in theory, of course. Because this is on an angle if we're going by. Was it Pythagoras theorem? Uh, that this distance here, even though it's only three blocks high, it should be the same actual length as four blocks flat. So that's what I'm going with. And then from here, it's going to be four blocks up, and then four blocks, three blocks in, and then the square at the end. So I'm going to be built using up a lot of windows here. Uh, I'm thinking. Uh, the lower section here is going to be red, and then all the mid middle ring going around is going to be yellow. And then go to the top of blue. You know, try to get a little, like a little bit of a kid's ball. I was thinking about trying to get the color to sort of stray in through the blocks, but uh, it's going to look a little pixelated. So uh, let me do some building, and I will be right back. Okay, I just got the corners in now, and I'm about to put the slopes on. And I do, did notice that there is actually a slight protrusion, I guess, depending on which way you go. Uh, this is actually why you can't actually snap it down to the bottom there. And I'm almost thinking that I might do it this way. That way it gets a little bit of curvature on this one side. Just to help it roll a little bit more. But I think it'll be okay. Considering the fact that it's technically smaller than it needs to be. So yeah, as you can see, it's getting dark. I still have a little bit more to do. And I will be right back. Okay, so we've got the lower half done. Uh, the next part is fairly straightforward. So uh, that's just basically going to be, let's go with two, grab a yellow. That's going to be uh, the flat normal panels on the outer edge if I get it there. And then we're going to use three on the sides here. And these will actually snap there eventually. Oh, I had it. I had it. Aha. Uh -huh. 
just like so. And then this is going to be four blocks up. And then from there, we'll go and fill in that hole. Okay, I got it done. Or the, this part of it done. Well, we'll get into that in just a second. I just had one of those moments that I realized I did something wrong. I overlooked something. Uh, this thing wasn't moving because I still had that wheel locked. Yeah. So let's give this another shot. All right, let's get, uh, oop. Wait, hold on, what did I do? I hit a key binding. Uh, I have no idea. Oh, whatever. I think it was for the disconnect. I hit four by mistake. Uh, but anyways, let's uh, put that here. And unlock it. Yes, so that, that that's what I'm talking about. Putting a little bit of weight on this side will get it to move on its own. If I put the weight on the other side, it'll go that way. There is a switchboard on that end, so I'm not surprised it doesn't actually go this way. And then, just like that, it stops it. Anyway, let's lock that. So, here's what we have here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do a save right now. Because I want to see if I can actually blueprint it inside the ball. Uh, this way I have a spot where I can go back so I don't have to worry about building the whole top of it. Finding out that I have to take it apart and put it all, take it apart take it apart the stuff that I just built just so I can blueprint that inside uh, it should be able to be blue blueprinted right in the middle and this is just for sharing on the workshop for instance right so anyway so I do have it saved now we do have to get uh, gotta get something down on the ground to get this thing to drop onto so let's go ahead and uh, let's uh, actually lay it flat and that just so I can actually reach the hole that works too. And then this way I can go back into here and I can actually fill in this hole that I created. Uh, there it is. Okay, go red. See, now I don't have to worry about it getting reversed. And just for the fun of it, I'm actually going to try to build it inside or at least most of it because I want to see if I can actually move this by myself. No. How heavy is this thing? Two tons. Hmm. I might be in over my head on this one. Anyway. Okay, I'm basically done. All I get left is that little spot there. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to realize I'm not going to be able to move this. Uh, what are we at now? Uh, we are at... Uh, 3,000. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, sure. Uh, I have no idea if that thing's actually going to even move this thing. It's not exactly the roundest. I was thinking about going smaller, but uh, with hitboxes and stuff like that, it might not actually fit if I go in smaller because uh, technically these are block size. So, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's copy and paste it, shall we? All right, yes, BC Segway. Uh, no, uh, build, yes. Oh, wow. It actually took the... It actually takes the the root part as part of the blueprint. So, yeah, it's not going to fit in there. Damn you. Hmm. That's a shame. Let's see if I can change that by re-blueprinting it. <laughs> I sense physics disasters, I don't know why. Probably because I've been playing this game too long. All right, let's try this again. Smile. All right, uh, BC segue. Okay, now let's try it again. And build. That's better. I don't know why I was taking that post with it. But this is what I mean. Like, oh, you can. Okay. That's all I need to know. That way we can post in the workshop. No problem. And this is also one of those builds where uh, being able to control your build range came in really handy. Uh, sometimes if it's hard to actually get the snap to where you want, if you just move the block to where, roughly where it's going to be, it's going to snap to the grid automatically. 
So then I just scroll back one notch, scroll back one more, and look at that, building like a pro. Or at least building like somebody actually knows what he's doing. Okay. So now, uh, now we blueprint this. Uh, I have no idea, <laughs> no idea what I would call it. Call it hamster ball. All right. And, and I apologize if I don't remember who actually suggested this, but uh, it has been something I've been thinking about for a long time. So, anyways, uh, what's going on here? Why am I crouching? Am I stuck in something? Uh oh. Uh, There we go. Something there. <laughs> I was stuck in it. Anyways, uh, what are we doing here? Uh, we are going to blueprint that inside. Okay, let's go in here. We build this. Um, or do I? Because uh, thinking about it being inside there. Uh, I wish games would get things unified. Okay, I actually have to unlock it. All right, so let's blueprint this again. Okay, new. I'll run over here. Okay. Uh, I'll change the name of this one. So now when I go to upload it, I still gotta add the description and all that stuff. Oh, two. I'm hitting control to run. Yes, I've been playing Minecraft. I'm sorry. Anyway. Alright, let's go and get this inside and uh, see what happens. I have absolutely no idea what it's, which way it's going to go, so it might try to run me over. Or, it's going to do nothing. What do you think? I'm going to say nothing. Definitely doing something. It's not moving the ball, though. I'm wondering. I'm wondering if we lighten the load. Right, like take things like this out. Uh, thank God for the blueprints. We can destroy our creations and bring them back at, without with the the greatest of ease. And uh, let me thin this out a little bit and see what I can come up with. Well, to be honest, I don't think there's much I can really do to it. I mean, I'm looking up here like already. I've taken off too much there. Uh, in order to keep this thing intact, I would have to keep basically take out like. 20%, which isn't going to be enough. Uh, ideally, it should be smaller, but as you saw, it was already starting to lift up on its own. I should have had more weight in here somewhere, but I don't have the room for the weight. Uh, for the original size of the ball, it was just going to get too heavy. I could have made the ball smaller, but that's not going to do much. Uh, but doesn't mean we can't have any fun with it, right? So, let's uh, roll it down a hill, shall we? See, this one, too. It's got the um, what should we call it there? The post. Where can we roll this down? Well, I'll start small, shall we? Let's see how it works. We'll scroll out. In case you're wondering, can you hold shift and scroll your mouse wheel to move things out? Uh, oh. The cows want a toy, don't they? Gotta love that big shadow down below. Alright, let's build it. Let's watch it roll, see if it rolls. It definitely rolls. Not exactly all that great, but oh! 
one hit. Well, at least the deer has something to play with now. <laughs> I, I tell you that things so I built. Uh, probably could have made that a little better, but no, like that's what I mean. We, that's what we have to build with. But it's not a total loss. We do have a, a handy dandy segue as we get back there and see if we take out for a spin. I'm definitely gonna be working on that one a little bit. Oh, come on. Uh, it's amazing how it worked. I was trying to actually see if we could build a bit of a platform on it, but the problem is. I'm thinking about it now. We might actually be able to improve this. Let's uh, do this one here. We'll just lock the wheels quickly. Uh, yeah, I kind of want to get something underneath here. Uh, let's see here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to actually try to take the batteries and uh, that's not going to be a smart idea. No. Because the hover pads. It's always about the hover pads. Is that going to be enough? Probably not. Actually, it is. Yes. Do it this way. Because I want to take the hover pads off and add more batteries to so sort of extend them out a little bit more. So I'll take that off. Let's go to... What is it? Yes, number one. That's my the tools of the trade. And let's see here. Which way do I add the batteries? No, it doesn't really matter. Let's... Do that, and then would that work? I'm trying to think how I add this. Ah, yeah, that'll work. And hang on, hang on, hang on. Almost there, almost there. There we go. So now, if I put the hover pads on here. And so it'll give me more control and actually gives me room to put a little bit of a platform. One there. And so now the question is, what's the real project of the episode? Is it the Segway or the hamster ball? Uh, let's find out, shall we? All right, uh, where's that switchboard? Did I take it off? No, I didn't. Okay. There we go ahead and... Four more batteries, two hover pads, uh, hover on, hover on, and take out the jack, I'll call it. All right, now let's, let's try something here. Take out number four, we can do that, and then we plot down. Um, Yes, if I hit the right button. Okay, that's unlocked. That's locked. So now we have better control over it. Somewhat. I think if the hover pads are one block up, it might work a little more because right now they're almost lifting this thing off the ground. Could actually try that. Let's do that. Uh, don't need to worry about a jack. Let's do that. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to put the hover pad here. There. And up we go. Put one over here. Uh, yeah, believe it or not, even though I don't play the game as much as I used to, doesn't mean I don't think about it. All right, uh, ooh, uh, let's turn you, connect you to those. Yes, turn you on so we can flip you over, get the battery out, and do the same over here. Okay, so now that they're higher off the ground, Should have more response on on where we are on the the cradle. Let's do it this way. Could extend it out a little bit more too. 
works. Let's actually put a little bit more on here just because. Just because we have the room for it. I actually missed the old hover height that they used to have. I used to be able to actually set the, the settings on the how high the hover pads hovered. Basically, just to strengthen them. Now, the question is trying to get something like this to actually turn. And not hit things. But anyways, the sun is setting. I have made an absolute mess of this area. Still got a UFO hanging up there from last episode, but I have something that actually works. It's not what I want it to work, but it works. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.